Here we show the gas flow characteristics of the valveless troker of the air seal insufflation device being used in air seal mode relevant at this time of concern regarding aerosolization hazards at laparoscopy. Using scleron gas imaging, gas vortex plume is seen arising from the top of the air seal trocar. This is confirmed as carbon dioxide by specific near infrared visualization using the FLIR GF343. The different density of this gas versus room air also explains how it is seen using scleron imaging. The chimney of CO2 continues even with the application of the supplied cap that comes packaged along with the 12mm air seal port. Here you can see the gas flow is diminished but not eliminated by the application of the cap. Gas continues to leak even with the camera inside you through the cap. Again, the same issue can be seen in reverse with the second imaging modality. First with the cap inside you and then again after its removal. To characterize whether some of this gas is coming from the intra-abdominal space, we set up a humidified carbon dioxide pneumoperitoneum model using the Aerogen Solo laparoscopic nebulizer system. Humidified carbon dioxide can be seen entering the trocar and moving up to the trocar head. By transillumination across the gas vortex, humidified gas can be seen escaping unfiltered out of the abdomen and into the operating room environment. We now illustrate the phenomenon of gas entrainment that occurs with high powered intra-abdominal suctioning common occurrence, especially during complex operations. The suction here is powered to extract up to 50 litres of gas per minute. You can see in the air seal monitor that intra-abdominal pressure is maintained alongside a relatively preserved level of insufflator flow. Certainly any increase in flow is not equivalent to the level of suction velocity. Using your infrared imaging, it can be easily seen that the chimney of CO2 egress from the trocar disappears with every short burst of suctioning. The CO2 exit plume resumes on cessation of suctioning. This is confirmed by repeat examination using the scleron imaging assessment. Positioning in sequence a directional flow meter with its top just outside the air seal trocar shows the gas vortex out of the trocar is in the order of 1 to 2 litres of gas per minute. With the application of suctioning this flow reverses direction and rises 2 to 3 fold increasing to an inward jet of room air into the abdomen in the order of 5 to 8 litres per minute. This short video we've shown two important characteristics of the air seal system being used in air seal mode with the valveless trocar. These are pollution of the operating room with unfiltered gas from out of the abdomen and entrainment of room air into pneumoperitoneum 